Hey, hello again, and welcome to Aquaponics in Arizona. I haven't posted a video in a while. I've been really busy, but I wanted to give you an update on how things are going. I still haven't put any fish in this system, and the reason is is we're going to be moving, so I'm going to have to tear the whole system down and uh, relocate it to our new home we just purchased. So uh, until then, I'm just using uh, some uh, pure ammonia and some... Uh, uh, liquid seaweed and chelated iron to supplement the plants. So it's almost like a uh, hydroponic system instead of aquaponics right now. Once I get it relocated and set up, then I'll, uh, I'll put the fish in and have a complete system. The nitrification process has taken hold, and as you can see, the plants are going crazy. Uh, the cantaloupe plant is growing, as you would expect, like a vine everywhere. And I've got uh, a couple cantaloupe. There's uh, one right there and then there's another one uh, right up uh, under there that's starting and uh, more are coming every day. Uh, I've got basil uh, right here. I've got carrots and onions. Uh, I've got some herbs. The uh, tomato plants are being overrun by the zucchini which is growing uh, like crazy as well. I've got the eggplant and then I've got the jalapeno and the jalapeno's got some peppers uh, starting on it as well. I wanted to show you also uh, what can happen, your biggest uh, enemy to a, uh, well one of your biggest enemies to a aquaponic system is insects. Uh, I have had uh, some caterpillars invade uh, the system and in one night this is what they can do. Strip a complete plant clean, a plant completely clean, excuse me. This is what it looked like yesterday and this is what it looked like today. This was created by uh, tomato tobacco hornworms that looked like this. Found two of them along with several babies this morning and uh, dumped them in a bucket of soapy water to kill them. But those can destroy a plant overnight. I've started spraying the uh, plants down with some soapy water to try to kill uh, aphids and things like that that are getting on them but uh, this is just devastating. This is also what they did to the cabbage. So your biggest adversary obviously is going to be your insects. There are some good beneficial insects in here. You can see the bees are all lined up at the watering trough. They love it here and they're doing their job pollinating and turning the flowers into, uh, into fruit. So things are going well if I can just combat the insects uh, in the system. I'll post another video in a few weeks uh, showing the teardown and move and then a rebuild in a new location. And, uh, but for now, I hope you enjoy this video, hope you learned something and you can see what the destruction of insects will do if you don't find them. Typically where you'll find them, how you'll notice uh, First of all, is you'll start seeing the edges of plants being eaten, and then you'll see this where the whole leaf has been taken off. And when you see that, you've got to go underneath every single leaf and look for worms that are invading these uh, caterpillars. Here's a prime example of a leaf that's been chewed up. And so you've got to go underneath every single leaf and up down each stem and stalk to try to locate them. And then once you locate them, just pull them off, put them in a bucket of soapy water. That'll kill them and get rid of them. Anyway, things are going good with the exception of that, and I hope uh, this comes back pretty quickly. Uh, this is the ammonia that I'm using. Again, I'm just using pure ammonia, putting it in there about every day. Because the nitrification process is complete, I can dump a whole bunch in there, and I just pour it right down the drain into the sump tanks below. And... Uh, the conversion process turns it into nutrients for the plants. So again, the biggest, uh, the biggest adversary are your caterpillars and aphids, things like that, that will attack any normal garden. But as you can see, the bees are doing their thing. They're flying around, pollinating. Things are going well. Hope you enjoy the video, and I'll check back with you later.